All right, y'all. I'm over here in um, Raceland, Raceland, uh, Louisiana. Louisiana. Um, I, I had never heard of this place. It's, it's like maybe 40 minutes from New Orleans. It's a little small town. Um, I'm gonna start over here. Give me your name right here. Shit, my name Monte. You heard me? I G the real D A R E A L underscore Monte M O N T A E. You heard me? You can just call me Monte. Monte on all platforms: Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, everything. You heard me? Audio Mac. Go fuck with that. Okay, what about you right here? My name Blake. You can find me on Instagram at official Blake. Long live Mutt, man. Show. Sure. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The branding here, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what can what can y'all tell people about um Raceland, Louisiana? You know, well, fuck, this bitch a small rural town. You feel me? But this bitch make a lot of noise. Also, you feel me? Like I was slang. Everybody pick up our slang. We grew up. We came outside. We rode bikes. We. We started off, you know, playing football in the hood, playing basketball at each other's house, going knock at doors and shit. You know, back in the day, we ain't really have phones and shit, so we would have to get on the bike and go to each other's mama house and be like, shit, that been none of that shit, such and such, that woo woo woo, you hear me? So it's shit like that, you hear me? Growing up, this bitch, it was, it was, it was cool for the most part. Everybody was, you know, united, you know what I'm saying? Coming up through this bitch, everybody like, you know, like anytime some shit go down, like it was a hood, like everybody was one, it was unity. Right. So, um, do, do, do this town have its own, um, like, say, police force? Yeah, uh, everybody town got down there the same. Like, down here, we got parishes. I know other, right. other places got counties and stuff like that, but we got parishes. This Lafouche Parish right here, so they got Lafouche Parish Police Department, you feel me? So, racing don't have their own separate police department, do they? Not or, or really. They? It's like Raceland and. And Thibodeau share one, you feel me? Because it's all Lafouche Parish. So they don't got their own, but it's Lafouche. Right. Uh huh. Now, do, do you like, do y'all like living here? Or do y'all like. Mean, uh it's yeah. like, it's like, it's we like, like fuck it. got ups and downs. And it's the hood, yeah. you it's from just the hood. From. It's where you the from. Hood, it's where you from. It's the hood, man. Everybody like, shit, this is where you from, so you just, you just take like a like it. Man. Yeah, it's either right. you gonna like it or you gonna, you know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all, y'all go up to New Orleans? Y'all go to New Orleans a lot? Yeah, we go to New Orleans a lot. Yeah. That be the first place a nigga do, like, like for, like, for the weekend and shit. We might hop in a car, be like, let's go shoot to the city. We like, go to the, yeah, go on Bourbon, let's go shop on Canal, anything, you feel me? Right. shoot to the city. That shit, 40 minutes. We shoot out quick get that bitch in like 20 minutes right so um if you if you didn't live here in this city where would you want to live at Shit, I mean, Houston somewhere, like, <laughs> yeah, that's like Houston or somewhere like that got opportunities. You feel me? So right. if you coming from somewhere that ain't got that much opportunity, nine times out of ten you gonna want to go somewhere that it is a lot of opportunity. Yeah, so Houston, Florida, Miami, whatever, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Shit like that, yeah. New York, I shoot the New York. Fuck, you got opportunity. You been, you been up there before? In New York? I never been there personally, but I got a couple of people I know that been there. A couple of family members and shit. Shot six times. You got shot six times. What, what is happening? Six times. I got shot six times in gray. I got shot in my head. I got shot in my hand. I got shot in my leg. You say in gray? That, yeah. That's another town in this yeah, area. Yeah, another little hood. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. shit, shit. I survived that shit. How long ago was that? That shit was like five years ago. Oh, okay. That was in 2017, so really like, almost six what years ago. Yeah, that boy. shit flew. Everybody like, you can ask them niggas, they was going live and shit like, damn, that bitch Monty not gonna make and shit. Girls was going live, like people from that neighborhood and shit going on live, Facebook, saying how I went gonna make it and shit, but fuck, I'm here today, you feel Oh, okay. Bless. So like, you talk about you being shot, well tell the people a little bit about that, how it, how it happened and everything. I mean, fuck, you know, nigga was supposed to go do some song, you heard me, nigga was supposed to, you know, it's just beef got caught up, you heard me, nigga was slipping, basically, you feel me. So boom, you never know, so boom, nigga was slipping, just real life facts. Thought I was going to fuck with a feature, you heard me, and go that way, nigga just drew down on me, boom. Try to end a nigga right then and now. Like it was in the middle of the street where it happened that? I mean, something like that, like, just like. Not really on, like right in front of a little house or some shit, you hear me, trailer. But fuck. After the nigga sped off and shit, you hear me? I, I just feel like they feel like nigga was dead, so they just sped off, you hear me? So, fuck. I'm on the ground crawling and shit. But I had passed out though. Like, I ain't even remember for like a good two, three minutes because I had passed out. So, nigga was like, damn, he dead, you feel me? So, boom. My other, one of my other little partners, he not out here. He was with me, you hear me? He ended up taking out running. He ended up getting shot a couple times in his back and leg and shit. So, he went ducked off. 
So after that, you heard me? I'm crawling, you heard me? Cause like all my partners was asking me like after I got the hospital, like man, what happened? What was what anybody happened? with you? Yeah, one of my little partners who not out here. Oh, my little yeah. partner knew, you heard me? So shout out that been new. And then shit, after that, you heard me, the people back there heard the shit. So you know, you might be in the neighborhood, you hear about seven, eight, nine gunshots go out, so boom. They come outside saying what the fuck going on, so I'm crawling for my life, you feel me? So I'm banging on the door, you know, I'm taking my last breath because I got hit in my lung too. So I'm like, damn. I'm taking my last breath and shit, this is real life. So boom. As I'm knocking on the door, the people not answering because they scared, they just heard gunshots and shit, you feel me? So after that, the people come outside. I still remember a man named Mr. Chris, he come outside and shit. All Buku people, they whole community, they come out from a circle, they get to ask me, where you from? I'm like, I'm from Raceland. They like, what's your name? I'm like, my name, Demonte, Eric, woo woo, shit like that. They like, just keep talking, you know, so we can help you stay alive and shit, you know, just keep breathing, keep talking. So he telling the people, give space because at the same time, they wanted me to have space so I could, you know, wouldn't be all crowded, right, you know what right. I'm saying? So after that, fuck the, the police, ambulance and shit finally showed up. You know, they put me on a stretcher, they put me on a face mask and shit, you feel me? They took me to New Orleans, you heard me? I passed out again, I woke up in the hospital. One more time, I woke up full of blood, you heard me? My mama was there and shit, so I'm like, I'm like, damn. The, the doctor like, stop touching, you heard me? I got blood everywhere, I'm touching me. She like, stop touching, woo, woo, woo. You want me to let you die, you heard me? Shit, like my mom was pissed, you know? Cause it was some sentimental shit going on at the time. So boom, life or death type shit. So anyway, long story short. I wake up in the hospital and shit, boom. They perform the surgery and shit on the nigga. Boom. I, we, I pass out again, you heard me. I think I woke up like the next day, you heard me, the next morning or whatever, how this shit went. Uh -huh. I see my mom, a couple aunties, a couple cousins and shit up in that bitch. So that when I woke up, I, off the map, I knew I was there. I knew I remember what happened and shit. I'm like, damn. Just wake up, you know. Nigga just had, you know, surviving and shit. Life well, and you, know, you lucky. Nigga uh, so. The the, the 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 closest hospital to here is the New Orleans. No, not the closest hospital. We got a hospital right down the road, Saint Anne, but it happened down here. It happened in Great. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Great. That's right by New Orleans. No, that's that's about 15, 20 minutes from here. Okay. So like all the little cities, parishes down here, we all like forty five minutes from New Orleans. Okay. So we all take like down there the same route to get to New Orleans down there. Same three, four routes. Right, yeah, y'all, y'all in the middle of nowhere. I'm just gonna shut it off. I can say I'm one of the biggest niggas from the city. Like my name rang a lot of bells because I was one of the youngest niggas doing this rap shit. Music, everybody yeah. won't be rappers nowadays. So a lot of people won't be rappers nowadays. Not just my city, just all over the world. All over everywhere. What, what, what do you gotta say about that? Like well, people who say that all these young dudes, all they wanna do is rap. Well, like like you, because you rap yourself, yeah. right? What do you what do you say to that? I mean, I started rapping at 15 years old. I started rapping in Swanson, LTI, in Monroe, Louisiana. I, I met a nigga from Abbeville, 337, Louisiana. A lot of people don't even know where that's at. So he showed me down there how to rap down there on some shit. I had to find all my own, cause one day I'm by his bunk and he just beating on the rack, you feel me? And he like, damn. He, I'm like, how the fuck you making a beat go with your, with your, with your song, you heard me, with your lyrics? And he like, bitch, you know, just think of some shit in your head and, you know, make that bitch go along with the rhythm, you heard me, the melody. So I caught on to the shit and not long after that, I started rapping. And we had little radios in that bitch, so I'm listening to Future and shit, I'm catching little vibes and shit. So I feel like what I could say to that is, I don't, I don't really like every, the people who want rap for attention. When I started rapping, it was because it was just a trait I learned, you feel me? It was some shit I had to fall back on after. But a lot, like nowadays, you'll go to different cities and shit, see people just want rap because they want that name, they want that image, they want the hoes that come with it, you feel me? Right. But see, with me personally, I can speak for myself. I started rapping because I felt like I see niggas dissing my dead partners and shit who couldn't even speak for themselves from other hoods and shit. So I feel like, I felt like, damn, man. My dog, you hear me, long little stupid, you hear me? I'm like, damn, my dog can't even speak for itself, you feel me? So I felt some type of way. So it's like, you know, it just that's just how it came about when I got out. I was like 17 when I first started rapping down this bitch here. And when I got released from the group home at LTI. So so y'all got like some people around here who like in this town or this area yeah. who lost their life to street violence? Yeah, we did. Lost a lot of partners too. We lost a lot of partners, you hear me? 
We lost on my dog Paul damn near first. My dog stupid damn near first. You heard me? That's how it started off. I got Moolah Gang on my hand right here. You heard me? Moolah Gang, long little Paul. You heard me? One of the youngest niggas doing it. So, like everybody looked up to Paul because he was one of the youngest niggas getting money. One of the youngest niggas out this bitch just doing like what he want. Like like that bitch Paul said. A boy do what he can. A man do what he want. You heard me? Right. Great shit. So, as far as the the rap, so where are you at with that now? Tell people a little bit about your music and what you're doing right I now mean, and everything. My shit still really locally. You heard me. My shit blew blew up a lot. You heard me. I started getting buzz in different little cities, Houston females telling me they heard my music coming down this bitch and shit. But for the most part, the tribe parish, which is Hummer, Thibodeau, Raceland. You know, shit travel because the internet nowadays. So you could say you kind of live still, still local. I'm still local with my shit right now. You feel me? I started falling back okay. for rap. You know, you know how real life shit start catching up to you and shit. So right. when I started rapping and shit, I end up getting shot. You hear me? So I got shot. Yeah, the innocent. 